Hey guys, Moshe the Electric Israeli is here and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and help me change the world. One electric car at a time. Thank you to all my Patreons. And today we're going to talk about the uh, Tesla Model 3, all the upgrades. There's a lot of videos going around about Tesla Model 3, the 2021 Model 3, all the upgrades and all the improvements. And they are all important. I'll mention a few of them. They're all important and they're fine, it's, it's okay. But there's one thing that I actually think is gonna give Tesla a Model 3, 2021 Tesla Model 3 uh, cars, a, a, a range increase, a real world range increase, because that's what it's all about. Not the regular, not the rated range, the real world range uh, increase by doing one thing, which is very important because Tesla Model 3 does suffer from a lot of range uh, issues in the winter and I, know everything about that i live in a very cold state but anyway let's just do this quickly what uh, they are planning to come there are a lot of pictures people take pictures uh, talking about a uh, chrome delete on the door handle and that plastic wrap around like i have in my tesla model y great uh, new center console the glossy piano which everybody hates <coughs> not me i could care less about these things they're gonna wrap it uh, with some kind of fake leather and maybe they'll have a sliding door just like they have in the Model S and Model X. Do I care about it? No. Uh, a new rim, uh, it looks very similar to the rim I have now, the 19 inch uh, sports rim that I have now, but it looks like it fits tighter, which is which is good. That's good, that I like. It looks like a hand, co a hand cooked tire. So that is good. If, they, if that's the new rim that fits better, I like that, that's excellent. Uh, a smaller front, now there's a reason for that. I'll get to that uh, at the very end. A double pen glass around, great, I, I like that. Uh, a power lift gate trunk, fabulous. A lot of people get it in the third market, cost five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. That is good, like we have in Tesla Model S, Model X, Model Y has it. That is fa fantastic. That is really good. That is a good uh, a, a, a improvement. Now, those are all good. Some of them I could care less personally. Some of them I like. That's fine. But as you know, Tesla, unlike any other car companies, they don't do a new year, a new model year. Get the 2020 uh, uh, model years out so you can uh, reserve. They don't do that. September to remember, November to December. They don't do that crap. What they do, they find an improvement, they do it right away. They don't wait for next year, next They do it right away, that's great. They always improve. For example, the Tesla Model Y in Germany would be exponentially better than the one that they make in the United States. And eventually, the, the one cast, I mean, you get my point, they all do what. Here's one, Tesla Model 3 uh, suffers, and I can tell you suffers significantly from range loss in very cold weather. Very, very, very significant. I'm talking 20, 30, or even 50% range loss. That's a lot of range loss. Uh, you know, you need to have a lot of energy uh, to use to heat the cabin and to power the car and, and all that. That's understandable. Well, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, uh, it's a big hit. And, you know, I drove this car for now. It's my fourth, win third winter coming. Wait, 2018, one winter, 2019 second winter that'll be my third winter driving this car and i can tell you i learned how to do it i learned how to charge i learned how to preheat while it's plugged i got it but just like the tesla model y if tesla model 3 i don't, I don't think it's an if i think it's it's gonna happen get a heat pump holy guacamole a heat pump without changing anything without putting a bigger battery without doing anything to the car would have a significant effect on the efficiency of the car and how much real world range you get. I bet you it will give you 20% more. I see it with my Model Y, which is a much bigger car than this, heavier car than this, same size of, um, of a battery, and yet the real world range is as good or even better than, than the Model 3. Well, why is that? Well that's what heat pump does it really really uh, free the battery to do the driving and everything else that it needs to do and the heat pump does the you know the, the heating and cooling 
you know, the, 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 the going around the system to help you heat and cool the car. Well, that is a big deal. To me, if that happens, not if that, when that happens, you will see a significant, significant improvement in your real world range. You can still charge it all up and it'll say 310, whatever it is, rated range. But the real world range, which is what matters the most, nothing else matters. What matters the most is that, that will be a significant improvement. So when I talk about a new model here, well, that will be it. Now, how it looks like it's gonna look the same, just all Tesla cars, that, they don't focus on those things. They make great cars and they don't need to change their look every five minutes, like other companies do. They don't spend time on this. They spend time on improving from the inside. Everything else, you know, some I could care less for, some I, I think it's great. The tire is great and, and things like that. If, uh, the lifts, the automatic power grade, great. I would love that, that would be awesome. But real world range, well, that's what electric cars are all about. It, it's, it's how far you can drive them uh, without uh, the need to charge so frequently. Okay, that's it for me today. Let me know your thoughts below. I will see you tomorrow.